Hello everybody and welcome back. Midori was looking at porn between episodes. I was not! Yes, you leaned right over and looked at Discord and you're like, Oh, that's hot. I'm gonna have to comment on that later. <laughs> you you were so looking at porn. Uh, that's, a, that's an oddly specific thing. It sounds like you, you're quoting something that you did there. No, I just happened to look over and saw you looking at porn is all. Is this really how we're gonna start the episode? Yes. Are Actually, really no, you know what? Turn the episode off. Let's start again. And where are the game grumps? Really? <laughs> really? Welcome back to the show, everyone! Do you enjoy sphinxes with dog faces? Midori was looking at porn between episodes. Are you f***ing kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> the public needs to know. I was not! <laughs> <coughs> I was not! Don't uh, call me out like that in front of our live studio audience! One, we're not live. <laughs> Two, we're not in the studio. And three, I think the audience quit on us at episode one. Yes, because of your riveting commentary on how the game works. So how's that porn, Midori? I hate you so much right now! I know. Oh my god, I have all the blushy face. <laughs> it's so adorable. No, it's not. Stop commenting on it. We were talking about old school cartoons and how I want old school cartoon characters. That's what the porn was about. No, it wasn't! <laughs> I, I can safely say that it was not about that and not that there was any. You sound very hesitant when you're speaking. Is there something else that we should know about? Is there something that you need those galoshes for, young Miss Bird Girl? Yes. To get across this. Is this where the sand eels are? Yes, that type of sand is where the eels live. I'm surprised you don't remember all this trivia by heart with how many times you completed it. Uh, well, it changes every time. Really? Yes. Every time you, uh, every time you start a new game, there are three different answers that each, uh, that each question can have. Hmm. So you do need to stop and talk to her so that you know which one it is. And so now we're on to the next world, Gobi's Valley, which is uh, where we'll find the last <coughs> move uh, in the game to learn. And it is also uh, where the game really stops uh, get being fit easy. Okay, now there's two different things that I want to talk about. Okay. One of them is my cartoon characters that I've been trying to talk about since the last episode. And the other one is the fact that I really love Egypt. Okay, start with that second one. Yes, we're going to start with that second one because it's relevant to where we are right now. Oh my god, we're actually tying something back into the game. <laughs> yes, we're, we're talking about something. We're re finally good at what we're doing. We're talking about the game. <laughs> we're talking about something in the game. Huzzah, everybody! Uh, and round of applause! Round of applause for, for us here! Alright, so, as I was saying, <laughs> I love Egyptian things. I don't know why I do. Like, it's this weird thing that I developed for some reason out of pure interest in things relevant to Egypt. I, I, think, I think that it all started with this, like, Age of Mythology game that I never got to play, but I owned for the PC. Um, Age of Mythology is a game that's... It's basically one of those uh, RTS-style games like Warcraft or Starcraft. Or Command and Conquer or um, Warhammer. And basically, like, that's when I discovered that there were mythologies other than Greek. Like, that's how I discovered other mythologies. Like, I learned about Egyptian mythology. 
and I learned about Norse mythology, all from different gods and creatures that were in this game's, like, booklet. Like the instruction manual. I, I get talked about them. I'm like, oh, if you worship this god, then you can unlock these mythological creatures, yada, yada, yada. And, like, I became really interested in the Egyptian one, especially, like, when I got a Dungeons and Dragons book that had various, uh. That sounded like a cat deflating. <laughs> That's a very interesting mental image. Don't get distracted, though. Finish your story. <laughs> but, uh... Like, I started learning even more about various gods that actually exist from a Dungeons & Dragons book on deities and demigods. And even though they you know, took creative liberties with the gods themselves for the uh, the sake of their role-playing universe and whatnot, I became fascinated with the Egyptian gods. Like, incredibly so. I began to look up uh, real information on these Egyptian gods, and I just began to fall in love with the aesthetic. Like, as much as I say that I hate the color yellow on me, like, I I'm green. I know that people say yellow goes great with green, but you know what goes even better with green? Pink and purple. That's my opinion. But, yeah, like, the, uh... I'm just picturing that in my head and it's clashing horribly. It is not clashing horribly. Separately! Separately, like, green and pink and green and purple separately. Like, not green, pink, and purple. I mean, I, I think that it would look good, but uh, it's... <laughs> it's but I'm weird, okay? So, so, point is that, like, despite the fact that deserts are very yellow, I love deserts. Like, not in real life. I hate the heat. I, I absolutely despise the heat. That's why I moved up here to where it's cold, like, three-fourths of the year around. <laughs> and now she's complaining about how cold it's getting. <laughs> I am not complaining about how cold it's getting. What are you talking about? You will. I will not. I will not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what they all say. That's what they all say. And then they walk outside and freeze their toesies. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'd put it like that. I mean, frostbite is a serious issue. Why are you making fun of people who have gone numb in the toes be from being out in the cold. Midori, you really are a horrible person. Look at you putting so many words in my mouth. That's, that's not uh, that's not the content that I want in my mouth. Insert lewd joke here. <laughs> so, like, there's something about the Egyptian aesthetic that I just really love for some reason. Like, just the designs and the colors and the culture. Like, I've actually looked into a lot of ancient Egyptian culture. Like, how they how they made glass out of sand and how they might have been the ones that originally first came up with electricity all the way back then. Like, all this crazy stuff about them. It was incredible. I'd just like to point out that you got on me for trying to have a conversation about the game's mechanics and now you're going full on historian fine th fine then if you want me to I'm just saying I'm... <laughs> did you know that a lot of Egyptian women didn't wear shirts yeah because the concept of the shirt hadn't really been invented by that point lots of boobs hanging out all over the place there we go that's the, that's the way to keep our viewer base interested exactly so, so if you want, so if you want guys like to keep you interested in Egyptian culture yourselves, just lots of topless women. There you go. But uh, so where can we go from there? <laughs> like it's really hard to their architecture just. And a lot of people don't get this. Like, whenever they think Egyptian, they think deserts. 
lots of yellow sandy deserts. But no, that, that isn't all that Egypt is. They built Egypt on the Nile River. Like, have you looked at pictures of the Nile River? Do you know how freaking, like, green it is out there? It's incredible. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. If only it wouldn't give me heat stroke within seconds, I would love to visit out there. <laughs> like, Egypt is a lovely place. People don't understand or get that. Yeah, pity about all of the uh, trouble that they have in the Middle East right now. Yeah, I... Another thing that I was never taught was that Egypt is a part of the Middle East. So when I found that out, I was like, Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> really? That's fascinating. <coughs> Tell me more. The camel! It's <coughs> free! Here's your reward, a puzzle piece. Now you will be able to solve that puzzle that you have never been able to solve. Well, technically we can solve it with any of the jiggies that we've been getting because all of them are exactly the same shape and size. And all of them are getting jiggy with it. Dory? <laughs> oh My no. god. I haven't been... Stop. I ha I haven't been keeping up with oopsies for every level. Thank God. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just going to have to go back when you're done editing and edit it a little bit myself to add a, like a, a little thing just like oopsie of the level. <laughs> you don't need to do that. <laughs> I, I do because I said that I would. <laughs> Midori, do you really want to make that much work for yourself when you haven't really been doing a lot of video editing to be Don't to start? you dare go there with me! Come on! Don't make me feel worse! And I'm not making you feel worse. You are I'm making me feel self-conscious about how lazy I am! <laughs> you're, not, you're not lazy, you're just, uh... Big boned! Uh, hmm. <laughs> Uh, it, um, <laughs> hmm. I'm going to talk about something else now. <laughs> ha ha! Ha ha? Yes, I managed to change the subject from wherever you were going with yeah, it. Yeah, apparently you did. <laughs> congratulations, congratulations. You're a winner. I am a winner. There we the go. camel is now friends with the. Oh god! You can also walk on water. That camel is Jesus. That camel was. I also like how to um, to show that the tree has grown. All they did was stretch his model. Yeah, they did, didn't they? Yeah. But but why did you have to attack the camel? You just freed him. He liked you. Oh, believe me, we're going to be doing that to him quite a bit. Oh god, why? Because he got water and we need the water. But, but Mr. Spitzy! <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Mr. Spitzy. I named him! His name is Gobi. His name is Mr. Spitzy. Okay, whatever you say. Why, I, why would this entire area be named after somebody who was enslaved here? I... Again, I think you're questioning it a little bit too much. The the Banjo-Kazooie lore does not run very deep. But it does run between cactuses. Wah, wah. Don't you don't you sound effect me like that? Every time you make a joke like that, I'm just going to put in a cheesy laugh track so that the audience knows when they're supposed to laugh. But honey, did you really want to make that much work for yourself? There's one right there. It's a laugh track. No! You are not going to add a laugh track to Okay, this. fine. I'll just put in the uh, the the uh, the trombone sound. No! You know, the womp, womp, womp. No! You are not Sans. Why not? I mean, why not put it in there? Why not a why not from Pokemon? 
I, uh, I don't know. I, once again, you have befuddled me. <laughs> Hooray! Where's that last damn... There he is. There we go. Inca Mocha! You got the Inca Mocha! Yes. Hooray! Yes, I did. It's funny, too, because that's one of the only collectibles um, that you actually can't find all of them in the game. They're, like, they're way more than you need. Um, there's something like 130 in the game. But <gasps> there's some sort of glitch, in, and I don't think they fixed it in this version that keeps you from getting all of them. Really? Yeah. I can't remember what, what it is, but, like, it's impossible to get every single mumbo token in this game. Again, not that it's necessary. We can, <coughs> we can only give you... Like, what did they promise you? Uh, they said if you fly through all the rings, then you would be able to defeat the witch. But in reality, all you get is a, is a jiggy. I mean, it helps you get to the witch to defeat her. Yes, but they were promising to end the game right then and there. And they lied to us. Why did they lie to us? They're cruel and horrible. Because they are sphinxes. They like to trick you. We treat him. We are a tricky race. Okay, so first you were a wolf, and now you're a, a sphinx. My 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 li my my little pony pony soda is a sphinx. Okay. I tell her the riddles, and if you don't guess the riddles correctly, then I spank you with a paddle. That's hot. <laughs> you're hot. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Feather marks. <laughs> <sighs> well, this is taking an interesting turn. I'm role playing with you. <laughs> so, what do you all think I should name this episode? <laughs> Feather marking. <laughs> now, that's barely been a part of this. <laughs> the Wonders of Egypt. You know, that might be what I go with. It's got to be something Egypt-related, because that's going to take up a bulk of this episode. Because I freaking love Egypt! As you have, uh, as you've told me. I love Egyptian kitties! <coughs> Even, he, I like Egyptian, I like, uh, cat anthros that wear Egyptian clothing, but I, I'm not above, actually, Egyptian cats. Have you seen Egyptian cats? Yes. They don't have fur. Yes. But they are... They still deserve the snuggles. Just because they don't have fur doesn't mean that they don't deserve snuggles. What <laughs> noise was that thing making? He was hissing. <laughs> now, he did not sound like that and you know it. Yes, he did! See, now this is not fair. They started the, they started the timer at 25... And then the timer started to tick down during a cutscene, so I only have 20 seconds yeah, to get up there. I did immediately notice that, and I wanted to say something about it. Like, that is... But I beat you to it, because talking about this game is my jam. Ah, oh, almost had it. Oh, well. Oh, well, might as well collect everything on your way down. Well, it's mostly just these things that I need. Yeah, there's music notes. Go get them. You're getting really, uh... Sassy? I was gonna say mean, but... <laughs> but sass is also an, act, an apt descriptor. There's a snake in my boot. There's a sand deal when I do. You're getting weirder. You're getting weirder! What are you talking about? I'm the most normal one in this conversation. Sphinxes are one of my favorite mythological creatures. You, you want to expand on that? I thought you were going somewhere with this. I like kitties! <laughs> we're just all over the place in this episode, aren't we? <laughs> this is how I work! I just randomly... Like, my brain just randomly switches subject matters. No, nope, not getting it this time. I went the wrong way, that's why. Keep, keep it going, Midori. <laughs> oh, 
I'm oh, trying I'm so, to concentrate I, I didn't here. Wanna, I didn't want to interrupt you. Well, you're not interrupting me, but somebody's got to keep talking. <laughs> let's talk about... Uh, kids at home, let's talk about the birds and the bees. No, Midori. You see, when a bird sees a bee, it... Midori, do you have any idea how much demonetization you're in now? I, I don't know words anymore. Right, I, I forgot. YouTube has so much against birds eating bees. Exactly. And then getting poisoned and dying. Because they got their throat stung. Yeah, I mean, I, this is a platform where you can film a dead suicide victim, but... God forbid you drop an F-bomb. <laughs> you see, there's birds, there's bees, and then there's cactuses. And you should not make love to cactuses, okay? <laughs> um, okay. You know, I, it's kind of weird that everybody, like, associates mummies with Egypt, specifically. Like, d didn't other cultures have mummies? In that general area, if I remember right, there were other cultures that practiced mummification. <clears throat> Mummies are not the only thing that there <coughs> is about Egypt. Like I said, there's sphinxes. And there is also, uh... Pyramids. Apophis. And sand. And, uh, and furries. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I am so mad about, like, uh... There was this movie called Gods of Egypt that was made by the same people that made the like the the modern day version of Clash of the Titans and the the sequel Wrath of the Titans because that needed to exist and then they made Gods of Egypt and I have not seen anything from them since and I am happy now that I have not seen anything from them since because when I saw the trailer for gods of Egypt. At first I'm like, gods of Egypt? Oh wow! Somebody's actually making a movie based on Egyptian mythology? Like that is so great! Because I love Egyptian mythology! And I can't wait to see what they do with... Oh... So I'm gathering you weren't a fan of this movie. Look... <laughs> <laughs> Look... When I saw the trailer for this movie and saw that they <laughs> they explained the Egyptian gods' appearance with people... God damn it. Keep going. Like, instead of the people... Like, the, the gods, I should say, being basically anthropomorphic animals, like in actual Egyptian mythology, they were regular people that suddenly dawned Mechanical super suits. Really? Um, a, a Hollywood film that has very little respect for history or the source material? Who would have seen that coming? Like, they put on these, like, mechanical suits. Like, they just appeared on their bodies. They were outrageously CGI. <clears throat> outrageously? Yes, it, it was terrible. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I like 3D stuff, but... I like 3D stuff in 3D movies. I don't like overly CGI'd stuff in real life movies that doesn't look real or good at all. And <clears throat> the biggest insult to me when I watched that trailer was the fire breathing snakes that they were using as steeds. You want to know the only fire-breathing snake that I am aware of in Egyptian mythology? Please, tell us. Apophis. Okay. Apophis is the god of chaos. He is one of the most powerful, dangerous, evil gods that I know about from the Egyptian mythology. And they reduced this fire snake to little more than a race of horses. What the heck? Like, did they just hear, wait, fire and breathing snake? Oh, hey, we could make that something that they ride on. Wouldn't that be cool? That's not what it is. That is not what it is. 
He is a god. He is powerful. He is dangerous. How dare you? Oh, uh, Midori, please tell us how you really feel. I feel like if they were going to make the fr freaking Apophis a damn horse, then maybe they should have made Medusa a damn horse in their Class of the Titans movie. Ride around on freaking Gorgons. How about that? Well, I'm scared now. <laughs> Sorry, I... I'm very passionate about this, and the one time that I got a chance to get something for what I'm passionate about here, they did that set of... Well, I gotta edit that out. Sorry, sorry, I, I, I shouldn't use that word. That That's a word that I don't like using. Mm. That and... And that and using the word... Um, not the word, um, uh, the, the word, <laughs> the word gay in a negative, and like using the word gay in vain. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I'm not going to say who I know that does this, like who I know personally that does this and probably imprinted it on me a little bit. And in fact, they probably didn't. It, it just kind of sort of happened but there was a period of time where, like, even though I was not okay with using the word gay in a negative connotation, like, that's gay. Even though I really did not like that, I did it. I did it all the time. And um, my, uh, my last girlfriend that I had... One day, she finally pointed it out to me, like, do, do you know that you're doing that? And I was like, wait, what? I, I am? And she's like, yeah, you, you kind of do it all the time. Let me tell you, folks. I cried. Like, I fell to my knees on the side of my car and started to cry. That's how devastated I was to find out that I was doing this. I really don't like it when other people do that, and I felt like such a hypocrite. It was painful, like emotionally. Well, it's just one of those things like, I don't think a lot of people really realize the negative connotations that a lot of the words that they use have anymore yeah and uh okay i hate to do this i hate to pause on this subject matter and i hate to pause the episode before you've even finished the level maybe we can uh i don't know cut back to it later or something but i have to use the bathroom okay yeah we'll we'll take a pause here and we'll come back to the episode. Actually, this episode has been going on for a little while. Yeah, it's going I noticed a that, that. This level is a little long. Yeah, the last few levels, we're probably going to have to split them into two episodes. So, yeah, we'll we'll stop the episode now so Midori can go and drain her tiny little bladder. Yes, that is what I am draining. <laughs> okay, see, see you all ne next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.